then consider that the General Conference takes note of the report of the Education Commission. Dominican Republic, yes, you have the floor, madam. Thank you, Mr. President. I wanted to congratulate the Education Commission for the work they did, and I would like personally to address Chris Rampasad, the President, who was representing Grulak as Chair of the Education Commission and adopted a very dynamic approach uh, in chairing that uh, education committee whose results were, were very positive. And I um, would like this uh, comment from the Dominican Republic to appear in the oral report. Thank you. Thank you very much. Indeed, we have uh, taken note uh, of that uh, comment. Any further interventions? I see none. I'm being directed somewhat. Oh, Belize. Thank you, Mr. President. I want to just thank the presenters of the APX and Education Commissions, particularly the chairpersons and the deputy chairs of these commissions. They have done an extremely wonderful job. I want to give particular and special mention to my distinguished colleague from Trinidad and Tobago, Dr. Chris Rampersad. Dr. Rampersad has done such a stellar job. She was resolute, composed, humorous, distinguished, competent, excellent, articulate, abled and qualified. I saw her in person myself. She performed exemplary with fidelity and zeal. And this is the same way I have seen her perform on the executive board, especially when she took the chair of the PX Commission as deputy chair. Dr. Rampersad has given of her time and talent selflessly, and I hold her in high esteem. I want to congratulate her on her team for her extraordinary service, and it is not service just for Trinidad and Tobago, but it is also, as the Dominican Republic said, she was doing service for Grulak, but not just only for Grulak, she was doing service for the world since we are the world. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank you very much. Indeed, we are the world. May I then consider that the General Conference takes note of the report of the Education Commission and hereby adopts the draft resolutions proposed in document 38C91, subject to the decisions that the conference may take when adopting the appropriation resolution for 2016-2017. Thank you very much, and it is so decided. I wish to once again congratulate all members of the Education Commission under the able leadership of the chairperson for their good work and for the efficiency with which they were able to dispense their agenda. Dear colleagues, we have thus finished our work for today. As mentioned at the beginning of this meeting, there will be no plenary session tomorrow. The plenary will reconvene on Monday, 16 November 2015, 
at 10 a.m. for the Leaders Forum. We will have the great honor to receive several heads of state and government on the occasion of the 70th anniversary of UNESCO. I would strongly recommend that you be in room one at 9.45 sharp, at least, so as to welcome our distinguished visitors.